Hello, this is Priscilla, and welcome to Ver welcome to Verbling. I am your conversational coach for the hour, and today's topic is the war against the fatberg. Now, when I found this topic today, I thought it was quite interesting. I wanted to know more about a fatberg. I thought others may be interested in learning about a fatberg as we developed our conversational English and discussed an interesting topic. So our objective for today is that the student will be able to read and in the process look at a series of written symbols and get the meaning from what you have read. When we read, we use our eyes. We use uh, the symbols such as punctuation, marks, spaces, and we use our brain to convert those into meaningful circumstances. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to use a picture about a fatberg. We will see a picture about a fatberg, make some determinations about what a fatberg is, and then what we can do as responsible citizens of Earth to take care of it. So with that said, I'm going to bring in our lesson for today, which is the war against the fatberg. And I want to say welcome, Jade. It's good to see you here. Our topic, our topic for today is the war against the fat bird. What I'm going to do now is pull in the lesson, and we're going to take a look at the picture on the screen, and it is a picture of a fat bird. So I'm going to ask you, Jade, looking at this picture, what do you think? Well, do you know what a fat bird is to begin with? Do you know what a yeah, the beggar in Swedish is mean a mountain. So it's a fat mountain. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, very good. It is a big mountain. It's a big mountain of garbage, of trash or sewage. And it was amazing. I had never heard of a fat bird before. So as I read about it, the more excited and intrigued I was about what a fat bird actually is. So, with that said, let's let's take a look at the lesson, and I will let you read for us, and I will let you start to read here. Can you read starting here? Uh, Sam's Water, the company that keeps the sewers flowing freely under London, has released a set of disgusting pictures of a fat bag, fat bag, bird. That fat, fat bird, fat bird. Fat bird that took a week to remove from a 262 footage. Oh, sorry, it's gone. <laughs> I have to take back. Uh, from a 262 photo stretch of Shepherd, Shepherd's Bush Road in West London. The Water Authority said it was the size of a Boeing 747 if it were burned underground. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Jade, for reading that. Hello, Claudia. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Welcome to class. Thank you, teacher. And I want to welcome Isaac. Welcome back, Isaac. Hi, Priscilla. Good morning from Good Spain. Morning. And Ahmed, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. It's nice to see you. What I've just created was a chart box with Jade, Claudia, Isaac, and Ahmed because I may forget who everyone is and where everyone is with their participation. So what I want you to do is to recognize the number that is underneath your name. So if I don't say your name, then I'll be talking to you about your number. And it will be your turn to do something. Okay, everybody understand so far? Uh, okay, good. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, so Claudia, you are you are number two. Yes. Somet sometimes when my classes are so large, I want to assign each of you to do something, but by the time I write your name, we're using time. So I would like to maximize the amount of time that you're spending with me by trying to get a lot accomplished so that you can spend more time talking than my time writing your name and writing your name incorrectly. So it's very easy to write a number correctly, 
more so than it is to write a name. So if I say, for example, number two, I'd like for you to read, of course, I'll be speaking to you, Claudia. Okay. okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go back up to the top because I don't know the reading level of those of you who are here. So I'm going to read this article first. And I chose this article because it was interesting to me. I had not heard of a fatberg. And once I heard of a fatberg and started reading about it, I thought this may be of interest to my participants on Verbling. I want you to pay close attention to the way that I pause at commas, stop at complete, make a complete stop at periods, and all other punctuations will usually get a complete stop. But listen to the rise and fall of my voice so that it will hold your interest for this short period of time. I will begin now reading the Fatberg. The War Against London's Fatberg. Thames Walter, the company that keeps sewers flowing freely under London, has released a set of disgusting pictures of a fatberg that took a week to remove from a 262-foot stretch of Shepherd's Bush Road in West London. The Water Authority says it was the size of a Boeing 747 if it were buried underground. Are there any vocabulary words that anyone need me to go over? Um. Okay. A team of sewer experts from the company fought the Berg all last week, Tuesday, August 26th to Friday, August 29th. The immense solid blockage needed to be broken up and removed from the sewer to prevent sewer flooding to nearby homes and businesses, the company said in a press release. Any vocabulary words? Fatbergs are composed largely of cooking oil that has been poured down drains while hot and runny. Once in the cold water of the sewer system, however, the fat congeals. The solid mess then combines with wet wipes. The wipes are frequently labeled as disposable, but are turning out not to be. Other words in this passage that you need help. Yes. Which ones? Compose? No, congeals. Okay. I we're... understand what is. Okay, compose and congeals. We'll take both of those. Okay. So here is what they actually mean. Insert table. Composed means. Okay, mm -hmm. so it consists of something. All right, so this is what composed means. The word congeals means change. For example, when I I place in different. And so, so when you have something that is liquid, like water, you can't pick up water with your fingertips. But once the water turns into ice, you can pick it up. So this fatberg has changed its form from flowing water into something like sludge or grease and grime that you might find in a car. Is that clear? 
Is that definition good now? Yes. Yeah, okay. So now, cooking oil plus wet wipes equals fatberg, it turns out. Here was a scene last week in Shepherd's Bush. You can see the Levi Leviathan is all the way up to the roof of the tunnel, preventing the Thames water worker from reaching the bottom. The Shepherd's Bush fatberg was not as big as the monster removed from the Kinston area sewer last year. However, the team used high-powered hot water jets for a week to dislodge the Colossus. All right, are the words here in that passage that gave you some difficulty? <clears throat> okay, well this word Leviathan gave me some difficulty and the word Leviathan means something extremely big. L E V I A T equals something extremely big. Um, Jade, what were you telling me about the fatberg in uh, in your area? Uh huh. Tell tell it to the class. Tell me tell the class what you told me. Uh, burger, burger, burger is mean a bear. It's a mountain, fat mountain. Okay, so burger is a big story we're talking about a fat burger although it's not necessarily a mountain as one that you would climb but it is a mountain of trash and gooey substances that man has created okay any other words in this story in this passage Leviathan preventing congeals well we did congeals all right for scale that's a tennis ball in the foreground Let's look at this tennis ball. Where is the tennis ball? Mm, well, I've got a picture in here someplace, but let me see if I can. I don't know where the tennis ball is. Well, there was a picture with the tennis ball, and you could see how big this sewer thing is. Mm, for scale, there's a that's a tennis ball in the foreground, but you can see that the lipid dam is nearly at the top of the sewer. Pretty soon, your fat burg is out of control. Wet wipes clings to the fat. Fat clings to the wipes. And pretty soon, your fat burg is out of control, and sewage is backing up into the roads, gardens, and in the worst cases, flooding up through toilets and into the homes, said David to Dave Dennis, Thames Water Sewer Operations Manager. Any questions about vocabulary there? Cling means to stick to. Like, do you have a girlfriend or a wife and she just clings to your every word? She looks at you and thinks, oh, I just list love listening to you. It just sticks to you just like maybe the wrapper on butter. Clinging to, something that's clingy. Children cling to their parents. They hold their hands stuck to. That means to cling. Okay, and the word lipid means a fatty substance, wax that usually dissolves itself by using a cleanup or alcohol. All right, we've all found we found all sorts in this sewer, from tennis balls to planks of wood. It goes without saying they shouldn't be in those pipes. London Bennett, don't block it. Thames Water spends about twenty million dollars on the war against fat. The sewers serve an important purpose. They are not an abyss for household rubbish, Dennis said. The worst neighborhood in Lam in London for fatbergs is Harrow, which has been plagued by thirteen thousand four hundred and seventeen fatberg sightings in the past five years. All right, any words here? That gave someone a difficult time. Yeah, maybe uh, okay, the word abyss is a hold or an opening. So when people are throwing out trash, they're throwing it into the hole. In the kitchen, for example, people may be throwing uh, food particles 
and grease, pouring it down the drain, down the opening. All right, so that was the story that we're going to read today. Here is that tennis ball, and you can see this is garbage and trash. All right, so what we're going to do now is read through again, and then we're going to do a little bit of a dialogue. I'm going to ask Jade to read first. Jade, would you read again, please? Yes. Uh, Sam's Water, the company that keeps the sewers flowing freely under London, has released a set of disgusting pictures of a fat bird that took a week to remove from a 262-foot stretch of Shepherd's Bush Road in West London. The Water Authority says it was the size of a Boeing 747 if it were burned underground. Okay, and this word is buried. That oh, means to be buried. hidden. Mm -hmm. buried. Now, can you quickly summarize what you just read for us in your own words? Or if you cannot summarize, you may use what I've written as a summary. Okay, I, I can see uh, a a Boeing 747 um, not <laughs> is in on the ground on the ground of London. Okay. Okay. All right. Now could we get uh, Claudia to read for us? A team of civil experts from the company fought the bird all last week, Tuesday, August 26th to Friday, August 29th. The immense salt blockage needed to be broken up and removed from the sewer to prevent sewer flooding to nearby homes and business, the company said in a press release. Okay, um, and this word is nearby. This word is nearby. Uh, nearby, okay. Can you summarize what you read for us, please? Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, this is a, a little difficult story for me. I, I'm not sure to understand. Uh, okay. Well, that's okay. If you'll just read what I wrote as a summary. Can you read? I, I understood that uh, uh, these experts, uh, they, they want to, um, to take away mm -hmm. the, this um, blockage. Mm -hmm. and, Good. Uh, I understood that this blockage is uh, that uh, that word I don't remember. Um, okay. fat bird. It's a fat bird. Okay. That's that's a fat bird. And that's all that you need to remember because you only had like two sentences. So that's a good summary. Excellent job. Okay. Isaac. Isaac, can you read this, please? And I gave you your trophy too, Claudia. Okay, Isaac, could you read for us? Mm -hmm. Fat bugs are composed largely of cooking oil that has been poured down drains while hot and runny, ones in the cold water of the sewer system. However, the fat congeals. The solid mess then combines with wet wipes. The wipes are frequently loud as disposable but are turning out not to be. Okay, and this word is labeled. Label. Mm -hmm. Can you summarize what you just read? If you cannot summarize, you may read what I wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the paragraph explains the, the what is composed, the fat bergs. Mm -hmm. um, major part is about oils, cooking oils, and wet wipes that that uh, the companies. Uh, uh, Advice uh, that are mm, okay. So we're they're putting people are putting wet wipes into the into the abyss. Even though the wet wipes are saying that they're disposable, they're not disposable. So we should not be putting wet wipes into the um, openings. Okay, Ahmed, could you read for us? Fatberg. It turns out he is what the 
the sense last week in the uh, Schubert push. You can see that uh, the Leviathan. Leviathan. Leviathan is all the way up to the roof of the tunnel, preventing the Thames water uh, worker from reaching the bottom. The Schubert bush. Fadberg was not a, uh, as big as the monastery removed from Kingston area service last year. However, the team used high-powered hot water jets uh, for a week to dislodge the col col Colossus. 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 And the word Colossus means huge, very big. Okay, can you... Give, tell us the summer. Can you summarize what you read? If you cannot summarize, you may read what I wrote. Oh, uh, the Fedberg is hard to deal with. Uh, the workers, the workers uh, had to use the, uh, hot water, a lot of hot water, uh, to remove a huge amount of it in the source. Okay, good. Very good. Let uh, see, I have a misspelled word there. Thank you, Ahmed, and here's a trophy for you. Thank you. And we'll go back to Jade. Jade, could you read for us? Yes. For scale, that's the tennis ball in the foreground, but you can see that the lipid dam is nearly at the top of the sewer. Pretty soon, your fat burn is out of control. We wipe cling to the fat, fat clings to the wipes, and pretty soon your fat burn is out of control and the sewage is backing up into roads, gardens, and in the worst case is flooding up through toilets and into homes, said David Dennis, Sam's water sewer operations man manager. Okay. And could you I have one question about the cling to the wipes. Mm -hmm. Clinging means to stick to. Oh, cling is means to stay to. Oh, stick to something. Okay. An adhesive. Um, when you chew gum, mm. usually. So okay. it, so clean, clean. Okay. Can you summarize this for us? Uh, okay. I from this paragraph, I read. Uh, I got uh, this one manager, swing operation manager, scared mm -hmm. public. <laughs> so those kind of uh, garbage or something gonna back up to the house, the road, the gardens, or flooding toilet in the home. It gets scary. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right, number two. I think that's. Is Claudia still here? Claudia, so, un so unmute your microphone. Uh -huh. We found our source in this sewer from tennis ball to planks of wood. It goes without saying they shouldn't be in those pipes. London, we don't, don't block it. Thames Water spends um, 12 million a year, about uh, 20 million of dollars, on the war against fat. The sewers serve an important purpose. They are not an abyss, ab, uh, abyss, for yeah, house, mm -hmm. abyss for household rubbish, Dennis said. The worst neighborhood in London, Far Fatbergs is Harrow, which has been plagued by um, 13, um, 1300, 
13,000. 13, wow. Okay, sorry. Um, 417 Fatberg sighting, sightings in the past five years. Good. And can you summarize what you just read? If not, you may read what I wrote. Uh, I, um, I think they, um, in London, um, they, they are trying to, um, to, to fight this problem of, mm -hmm. the, of the rubbish and um, they, they are spending a, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Good. And they're okay. spending about $20 million a year. Okay. Okay. Very good job, guys. You all are doing wonderfully well with that article. Now, it still be dependent upon your ability to read and comprehend at the same time. You all read extremely well today, but sometimes reading and comprehending usually is two different things. You can read well, but because of the vocabulary, you may not necessarily actually understand what you've read. So I don't know whether you truly understand 80% of what you read, which is my goal. If you can understand 80% of what you've read, we have met with success for today. So the next activity that we're going to do is to help you to better understand what you read so that when I ask you, did you understand 80% of what you read, I hope that the answer will be yes. Now, we're going to enter into a dialogue about what you've read. We're going to go over it again several times so that it will be clear in your mind what you read and how you are to understand it. I've written out the dialogue. You can change the dialogue a little bit, but if you do not change the dialogue, I'd like for you to try not to appear as if you are reading. All right? Are there questions about what I've asked or what I've said? Okay, great. So now I'm going to pull up the information again. Where is it? Right against the Fatberg. Now. Okay, I think you should be able to see it now. So now we're going to go into the dialogue and let's see student A for now is going to be um, let's see who will does anyone want to volunteer to be student A? Hi teacher. Okay and is that you Claudia? Was that you Claudia? I, I, I can be A student. Okay so Claudia Okay, is that Claudia speaking? I think okay. Okay, and who wants to be student B? Uh, yes, Jade here. Okay, Jade will be student B. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready, you may start. I will tell you where to stop, or you'll see a place for you to stop. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay we're right here. Okay, student A. Okay. Uh, today I want to today I want to talk you, to you about the things water company find. You want to talk about what? A find? Not very likely that the Thames Water Company found anything useful. Why I bet the only thing they found is another way to charge consumers money for using the water. As you know, it is the Thames Water Company, a position to keep sewers flowing freely under London. But just today, we have released a set of disgusting pictures of a fat bear. Yes, you heard me correctly, a fat bear. A fat bear that took a week to remove from a 2062 foot stretch of Shepherd's Bush Road in West London. Are you serious? Quite serious. So much so am I serious. I want you to know that the fat bear was the site of a Boeing 747 if it were buried underground. 
So this could be in my drinking water. What is the Thames the Water Company doing about this? A team of sewer experts from uh, sorry, from the company fought the bird all last week. The immense solid blockage will be broken up and removed from the sewer to prevent sewer flooding to nearby homes and business. Did you put out a press release about this? Of course we did. We are a responsible company. This is what we say in our press release. What birds? are composed largely of cooking oil that has been poured down the drains while hot and runny. Yeah, well, I don't cook. I usually eat at one of the local restaurants in Horo. That's my neighborhood. Continue. Get on with it. Okay, I'll hold your horses. Once in the cold water of, sea, of the sewer system, however, the fat congeals. Solid mess that combines with uh, wet wipes. The wipes are frequently labeled as disposable, but are turning out not to be. What? Do you mean that wet wipes are not actually disposable? Everyone knows that you can't put a grease in the drain, but a wet wipes. May I continue, please? By all means, continue. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Cooking oil plus wet wipes equal to fat burn. When I don't have a case, oh, get on with this catastrophe. The catastrophe. 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 Sorry, catastrophe. The scene last week in Shepherd's Bush can be described this way. There is a Levi. A Levi Leviathan in Shepherd's Bush, and it is all the way up to the roof of the tunnel, preventing the Thames water worker from reaching the bottom. Wait, wait, just wait a minute. Le, 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 I, le, I eat, le, I eat, Tom. What in the world is uh, what you might call it? 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 Student A, it's a Leviathan. Ah, sorry, because I, I can hear. Uh, it is a Leviathan, something that is as huge as a whale and quite powerful, I might. Uh, Ed. I want to add here that the fatwa was not as big as the monster removed from Kingston area sewers last year. What? The team used high-powered hot water jets for a week to dislodge the colossus. Oh, hmm. I think I'm understanding now. Colossus means really big. Okay, continue. Take a look at this picture. In the foreground, you can see a tennis ball. If you look just a little closer, you will notice that the lipid band is nearly at the top of the sewer. You mean this yellow thing is a tennis ball? Well, how did it get in here? Oh, sorry. What is all of this other mess? It looks like a solid waste dump. Dawn. Oh, sorry. That is a small world because we most certainly might be co uh, sorry, I can't read, I can't read. Uh, course if we don't get uh, this fat bear under control. So, what is being done about this? How much is this going to cost the consumers? How did a company your size allow this to happen? Don't you think we pay enough money for someone to keep their eyes peeled for something like a Lev I, Lev I Tom? Are you just trying to frighten us so we can pay more money? Absolutely not. I have a family too, and it takes money from my pocket to help clean up this mess. Okay, I'm listening. 
What many people don't understand is that wet wipes cling to the fat. Fat clings, uh, clings to the wipes and pretty soon your fatware is out of control and uh, sewage is backing up into walls, gardens and in the worst, uh, worst cases folding up through the uh, through toilets and into homes. What does this have to do with me? I don't use wet wipes anyway and I don't have kids in diapers now. My oldest is 35 years of age. It's not just wet wipes that we have found. We found all sorts of trash in this sewer, from tennis balls to plank of wood, gloves, shoes, hammers and car tiles. It goes without saying they shouldn't be in those pipes. Don't we have a slogan in London? Be it, don't block it. Okay, let's see. Did we did I lose my spot? Okay, we have the slogans. Student A. Ah, oh, sorry. We are identifying where the problems are the most dramatic. The worst. Oh no, uh, we have. Uh, I lost. <laughs> we have the slogans, but who is reading and listening? Since water spends about 20 million on the war against fat, the sewers serve an important purpose. They are not an abyss for household rubbish. I could give you another word for abyss, but let me focus on this abyss or the big hole for the rubbish. So, what is the plan to, re to read the London of this problem? We are identifying where the problems are the most dramatic. The worst neighborhood in London for fatbergs is Harrow, which has been plagued by 13, uh, no, 13,000... Uh, 417. Sorry, but I can't... I can't uh, 13,417. Okay, 13, fatbergs sightings in the past five years. Uh, that's my neighborhood. I'm ready to join the campaign and uh, find, uh, fight, uh, fight this fat burger. I mean, fat burger. Tell me how I can help. Okay. Okay, so what we just did was actually read about the, the, the passage. The dialogue was to help you better understand what it was that we were reading. Now we will have Ahmed to read as student A and Jade could you read as student B for a while because Isaac had to go and Jade I'll switch off and let Claudia read at some point student B. Ahmed you will read all of student A. Okay, okay. I will now bring the lesson back. And we will start again. Try to maintain the voice of naturalness. Student A, you may begin. I'm at your student A. Okay. Today I want to talk to you about the, uh, the Samus Water Company find. You want to talk uh, about what? A find. Not very likely that the Thames Water Company found anything useful. Why I bet the only thing they found is another way to charge consumers money for using the water. Uh, as, you, as you know, it's the Sun's Water Company position to keep sewers flowing uh, fairly under London. But just today, we have been, but just today, we have seen the set of disgusting picture of a fatberg. Yes, you heard me correctly, a fatberg. A fatberg that took a, a week to remove from a two, uh, 262 uh, foot stretch uh, of Shepherd's Bush, Bush Road in West London. Are you serious? Quite serious. So much so, so, so I'm serious. I want you to know uh, that the fatberg was, uh, was the size of a boy uh, if it were buried under, underground. So, this could be in my drinking water? 
What is the Thames Water Company doing about this? I think so expert from a company fought the, fought the work all the last week. Uh, the imminent blocks need to be broken, uh, broken up and removed from the sewer to prevent sewer flooding to near homes and businesses. Did you put out a press release about this? Of course we did. We are uh, a responsible company. This is what we said in our uh, press release. Footberg are composed largely of uh, larger, largely of cooking oil that uh, has has been poured down drains while hot and runny. Yeah, we all. Uh, well, I don't cook. I usually eat at one of the local restaurants in Harrow. That's my neighborhood. Continue. Get on with it. Okay, hold your horses. Once in the cold water of the sewer, uh, sewer system, however, the fat uh, congeals. The, the solid mass then combines with the wet wipes. The wipes are frequently lab labeled as disposable, but are turning out to be uh, not to be. What? Do you mean that wet wipes are not actually disposable? Everyone knows that you can't uh, put uh, grease in the drain, but uh, wet wipes. May I continue, please? By all means, continue. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Cooking oil plus wet wipes equal to fat burn. Well, I don't have case. Mm. Get on with this catastrophe. Thing. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. The scene last week in Shubbers Bush can be described uh, this way. There is a Leviathan in Sherbert's bush, and it's all the way up to the roof of the tunnel, preventing the sense water worker from reaching the bottom. Wait, wait, just wait a minute. Le, 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 I, le, I eat, le, I eat Tom. What in the world is what you mark it? It's Leviathan. Something that is a huge as a wheel and quite powerful. I might aid. I want to aid the uh, here. What the fatberg was was not as big as the monastery removed from the Kingston area sewers last year. What? The team used high-powered hot water jets for a week to dislodge the uh, colossus. 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 <laughs> I think I'm understanding now. Colossus means really big. Okay, continue. Okay, let's stop right there, and we're going to have Claudia read student B now. Claudia, okay. you will be student B. Okay, okay. continue. Uh, student A, take a look. Yes. Take a look at this picture. In the, in the foreground, you can, you can see a tennis ball. If you look just a little closer, you will notice that the lipid, the lipid dam is nearly at lipid, the lipid, lipid. Lipid dam is nearly at the top of the sewer. Uh, you mean this yellow thing is a tennis ball? Yeah. Continue, Darn. student. Darn. Oh, sorry. Okay, student A, just go on, student A. Okay, that's a small worry, because we most certainly uh, certainly might be uh, cursed if we don't get uh, that feedback under control. So what is being done about this? How much is this going to cost the consumers? How did the company, your site, allow this to, this to happen? Don't you think we pay enough money for someone to keep their eyes peeled for something like a lab? Levi, Leviton, are you just trying to frighten us so we can pay more money? Absolutely not. I have a family too and it takes money from my pocket to help clean, clean this mess. Okay, I'm listening. What many people d uh, don't understand is what weight wipes can, weight wipes clink, uh, is that weight wipes clink to, to the fat. 
fat links to the wipes and pretty soon your fat burg is out of control and sewage is uh, backing up and roads, gardens and in the worst cases floating up through toilets and into homes. What does this have to do with me? I don't use wet, uh, wet wipes anyway and I don't have kids in, di in diapers now. My oldest is 35 years of age. It's not just wet wipes uh, that we found. We have found all sorts of trash in this sewer. From tennis balls to drinks, food, gloves, shoes, hammers, and car, car tires. It goes without saying they shouldn't be uh, in these pipes. Don't we have a slogan, London? We need, don't block it. We have the slogan, but who's reading and listening? Sanat Water spends about 20 million, uh, 20 million of, the uh, of the war against fat. The sewers serve, serve an important purpose. They are not as uh, ab uh, abyss, abyss? Abyss? Abyss. Abyss. Mm -hmm. abyss for householding rubbish. I could give you another word for abyss, but let me focus on this abyss for all the big. Uh, hole for the rubbish. So what is the plan to rid London of this problem? We are identifying where the problem uh, uh, are the most dramatic. The worst neighborhood in London uh, for Fatburg is Harrow. It has been blocked by uh, 13,474 sites in the past five years. That's my neighborhood. I am ready to join the campaign and fight this fat bugger. I mean fat bird. Tell me how I can help. Okay. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. And I'm coming back to the session, the forum. Nicely done, nicely reading. Now, the purpose of having this as a dialogue was because the text was quite huge. And it was a lot for you to consume and learn. So here's my question. After completing the dialogue, after having read the article, do you now have a better understanding of what the article was about? Uh, Natalia, do you, not Natalia, but Claudia, do you understand now more about the Fatberg in London? Yes, yes, I, under, I understood that is uh, this uh, big rubbish in uh, um, um, under London. Uh, mm -hmm. The problem that uh, uh, can be um, out of control in the future. Very good. And what's uh, causing and what's causing this problem? Um, uh, all that uh, we um, um, all that we product every day uh, with. Uh, with the rubbish, with uh, with our lives uh, in uh, every day, um, and this uh, this is a, a big ma uh, a big blockage that the company can that the company uh, are trying to uh, to to keep away because uh, if this problem is out of control can be um, can be um, uh, how can I explain? Can be out uh, in the garden or uh, in the in our house, uh, yes. and uh, this can be a, a much uh, uh, bigger problem. Mm -hmm. Great, excellent, excellent, very good, very good summary of what we read, and it does demonstrate that you understand eighty percent of what we talked about today. Jade, could you tell me? Uh, did you understand more about the content of the text after having the dialogue? Yes, I did. I read this dialogue and uh, I could understand uh, almost 90%. Wonderful, wonderful. 80%, 80% it was my goal for you, but if you're understanding 90%, perfect, except, perfect. Except some of you vocabulary I didn't know before, but uh, okay. I know the meaning of this dialogue. 
Okay, fantastic. Thank you for sharing. And Ahmed, could we ask, did the dialogue help you to better understand what the text was about? Yes, of course, I understand a lot of it. Uh, 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 most of all, I knew uh, what uh, fat bird means. Okay, okay, great. And how did you, how did you come to know about a fat bird? How did you know about a fat bird prior to reading about this today? Ahmed? Actually, in Egypt, we don't have such the exact problem as we don't have uh, cold water in the solar system. But mm -hmm. And lots of rubbish in the solar system. So, mm -hmm. at least I will no longer uh, throw uh, wet wipes in the solar system. <laughs> good, good. Well, that is good. We have come to some form of being informed citizens of Earth. It is our responsibility to take care of the place that we live because if we don't take care of it, we, not, we will not be able to enjoy and live the long lives that we are currently enjoying. So with that said, we are at the top of the hour. At the top of the hour, this is when we take the time to ask, what did you like about today's lesson? Um, would you like to see something different or whatever you would like to share about today's lesson. I would like to invite each of you to follow me on Verbling. I have one more class coming up today immediately following this one. So if you enjoy the previous classes, I think that you will enjoy the next class. I do want to say that I am a conversational English speaking coach. So what you will find here is lots and lots and lots of opportunities to speak and listen and retell what you've learned. We had other activities today, but we didn't get to them. But we have activities that are chock full of things for you to speak, speak, and speak. So with that said, I'm going to ask Jade to give me her final words regarding today's session. Uh, Jade? Yes, uh, thank you very much for your today's uh, this class teaching. Uh, okay. I thank you very much. And especially, I started to try to look up all the new words I have never known. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I hope that as we went through the dialogue, the dialogue helped to bring out the true meaning of what you were reading. Because when you're engaged in conversation with other people in real life, in the real sense and real time, the reader, not the reader, but the listener will be listening for your comprehension as we were doing with the word Leviathan. This is how we actually talk. If I don't know how to say something, I'll stumble over it and then the person that I'm engaging in conversation with will actually correct me with my thinking process. So I try to bring that into the dialogue today that when you're having authentic difficulties it is quite natural for the recipient of the conversation to act upon helping you to understand something. So the more we talked about the fat bird, when we talked about the wet wipes, the conversation flowed in such a manner that if you didn't know what a wet wipe was through the reading, the dialogue reinforced wet wipes or something that should not be disposed of. And what Ahmed has said is that through this dialogue he has become informed that now he will not throw wet wipes away. So thank you very much for adding that thought, Jade. And now I'll go to Ahmed for his final words for today. Final words, Ahmed? It was my pleasure being here with you. I have learned a lot. And okay. A lot. Great. And to, uh, have more classes with you soon. Okay, fantastic. I appreciate that. So thank you very much for your commitment to follow me, Ahmed, on verbally. And Claudia, finally, we'd like to have last and final words from you. Uh, I, I am happy because at the beginning I believed that this lesson um, was too difficult uh, for me because I understood uh, almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in the end, uh, I understood, and so I am happy. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. So I have met my objective that 80% is what we were to gain from today's session. So if you understood 80%, I feel quite successful. If you only, only understood 50%, you're well on your way to becoming a great person at listening and comprehending 
what you what you have read. What I try to do is build your vocabulary as we go along. I don't focus too much on grammar because when we're speaking, rarely will anyone say that you are saying something grammatically incorrect. You will be told that what you're saying is not being understood. So I have understood each of you as you have summarized what you wanted me to know today about the text. As you gave your final words, I was able to understand what you said. And I appreciate everything that you all have said and done today. So with that, I must say goodbye. I will be on for another hour, for another hour of coaching following this session. If you'd like, I'd like to see you there. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.